Hi guys, welcome to Backyard Chef and I'm Rick and on this channel I show you how to cook delicious recipes and I take you out and show you what's in my backyard. Today we're out at MK. Now MK is a Suki restaurant. MK has been established in Thailand for over 30 years and over the last 20 years it's changed from having a gas uh, cooker to an electric cooker actually on the table. Okay, and the Thais know it as suki, sukiyaki. Um, now it sounds Japanese, but it's not. It's 100% uniquely Thai based on the Chinese steamboat dish. So let's go have a look. As with any premise these days, you have to check your temperature before you go in. Now MK restaurants are situated mainly in shopping centres, shopping malls. Easy to find, just look for the sign that says MK. Now on entering the restaurant, the staff are always very helpful. I mean sometimes they're busy but as you can see at this particular time they're not busy. People don't want to come out. You are given a menu and the menu has many items in there from vegetable sets, mushroom sets, meat sets, fish sets, seafood sets, MK Suki sets, unbelievable, the choice is enormous. So whilst you're looking at your menu, you will receive a complimentary iced tea. Now this iced tea is refillable, so as you drink it, they come round and they refill it. The more you drink, more they fill. Also what you get, you get the suki sauce, sukiyaki sauce. Now it's quite distinctive, it is very pleasant and also you can have extra garlic and chili. So like I say the menu is amazing there's so much things in there you know you can have crispy pork platter duck platter red pork platter you can have a mixed platter there's individual dishes there's a la carte it's amazing there are so much to choose from now what you have to do you have to pick a vegetable set to actually cook in your suki pot. Now I'm choosing fresh spring rolls. They're not fried, they're fresh. Absolutely delicious. They're one of the classic things to order in MK. So you pick your vegetable set and it comes with mushrooms, cabbage, carrot, egg, pak choy, morning glory, quite an abundance of vegetables actually for you to put in your suki pot. My mouth's already watering looking at the menu. I've eaten here so many times. Now, they're normally very quick to actually bring out your order. Obviously, at this moment in time in Thailand, there's not many people out dining, so they are very quick to get your order to the table. Now, they're like little set meals. They're all in little platters, so you can just add it to your sucky soup water in your pot. Just check it when you get it, make sure it is what you've ordered. There's no point trying to eat something that you haven't ordered. So the staff have already set the pot to boil. So we're just waiting for the soup to boil. And as we wait for the soup to boil, the staff will just keep bringing out your order until the table is full. 
it's so quick and it's amazing. Now I've ordered red pork, roasted red pork and roasted duck on one platter. I've ordered a, a small platter of mixed meat. So when the sucky pot gets up to boiling, the staff take away the lid. And then you're just left in control with the buttons to actually turn it up or down to control the boiling. Now obviously as you put your ingredients in the pot, it will actually cool down. So you need to keep turning it up to boil and then when it's boiling, just turn it down. Right guys, what we've got here, we're in, we're in MK and what they're doing now because of COVID, everything is actually sealed up. Before you used to come in and you used to just have your balls and plates everywhere. Now they seal everything thing in here. So you get all your little cutlery and your balls and everything in a bag. All you gotta do is open it and get into it. Nice and straightforward. It's like opening a present. There we go. So we got our chopsticks, we got a spoon, we got a bowl, a plate, and um, we've got a ladle to take our stuff out of our boiling water. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to, this is not boiling, we need to turn it up to boiling, and we turn that up to boiling, and then what we're going to do, we're going to actually crack an egg. crack the egg into here for now and we're just going to give it a bit of a whisk up so I'll whisk up the egg nice and steady and then what we're going to do is we're going to put the egg in that water it looks like a soup actually it's like a little bit of a soup take the string in here give it a little stir around so it's all incorporated into the water and that's it Nice and steady. And we'll let that boil up a little bit and then we actually start putting some vegetables in. Right, what are we going to do then? We're going to take our tray full of veg. Have you got that? Yeah. And we're going to put the hard vegetables in first. So we're going to get some corn. Put the corn in. Some hard carrots. Some corn. Yeah, what's that? So we'll put these in. And a couple more bits of mushroom. Do you want this one in? We'll put this one in too. And just let that boil back up again first. Let's give this a little mix up. Nice and steady. This. We'll put them up. So what we've got here, we've got the seaweed. Seaweed pork. So what we'll do is we'll put all these in to cook, nice and easy. Get all those in, give it a good stir up. Done. So what we got here then guys, we got actually fresh spring rolls. Nice and fresh spring rolls. So these are not fried obviously. There you go. So we'll just pull one apart. In fact I'll eat one first and then we'll pull one apart. Mm, absolutely amazing. And we pull it apart, look. And you've got Chinese sausage in there, a bit of pork, a bit of cabbage. Absolutely fantastic. So there you are, guys. Absolutely amazing. Fresh spring rolls with a bit of a, a sweet sauce. Really sweet sauce top with a little bit of green chili. Mm. Absolutely amazing. And then you've got a garnish with a spring onion. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Put some more mushrooms in. A little bit of pad choy, a bit of celery, 
and a little bit of soft tofu. Very soft tofu. You just get it all in there and give it a little bit of a stir and that's it. It's so simple, so easy and it's a fantastic way to come out and eat something. A fantastic way to come out and dine with your family, friends or even on your own. Amazing, amazing food. Right guys, we got some fish balls here, look. So we're going to put some fish balls in. Get those cooking. Get all those in there, give it a good stir in. Get them down there, get them cooking away. Now we got some shrimp wontons here as well. This is going to be packed full. <laughs> So just put in what you want, you know, as much or as little as you want. Now obviously if you're eating out, so you might want to um, make your meal last longer. So just put a little bit in at a time and just enjoy. It's so easy because it cooks in front of you and you just dip in and take out what you want. Now with our sauce, this is Suki sauce. It's, got, it's, it's like a signature sauce that they have in MK, but what you do, if you like chili and garlic you add chili and garlic to the sauce give it a good mixing up and that gives a, a fantastic flavor when you dip all your bits of vegetables or meat in there whatever you would like to dip in and eat it gives it a fantastic taste so here we go then just put some rice in the bowl and we're just gonna get stuck in now look at this pork, this is red pork, absolutely fantastic, nice succulent soft pork and I've got roasted duck, amazing. So this is just a small platter and we have pickled ginger and cucumber to garnish. Now guys, when you're actually cooking with your suki pot, make sure it's to boil in when you put your fresh ingredients in, your shrimp or your meat, and then it will not contaminate anything that's in the pot. So you will not end up with a rumbly tummy. You will be okay. So make sure the water's to boil in, and then you can add your meat or shrimp to cook. It's a fantastic way to cook actually, it's a very sociable way to cook if you come out as a group of friends. It can make for a very enjoyable meal time. And everybody dibs in, you know, it's a pot in the middle and everybody dibs in and takes whatever they want. Now obviously, if you've got a lot of hungry, hungry diners, you can always ask for more. Now with this fresh spring roll, it's a crab spring roll, so it's topped with crab. It's absolutely delicious. It's one of my favourite things to actually eat in MK, as well as the pork and duck. Now we have a couple of ladles. The ladle with the holes in is obviously to scoop out um, your vegetables and things and leave the fluid in there. And the other ladle is to actually scoop out some soup, so you can actually put soup in your bowl. Dim sums, dim sums always come with either soy sauce or a sweet sauce. Just pick it up, dip it in and eat it. Now this is a, a, a crab, a deep fried crab cake. Absolutely packed with crab, it's delicious. So it's just a case of digging, take out, dip in your sauce if you want it in your sauce, eat your meat, put more vegetables in your suki pot. There is so much to choose from. 
the menu is very extensive so if you want to add more you add more if you want more dim sums get more see, more dim sums different meat get different meat the choice is wide and it's there for you to enjoy now like I say at this moment in time with what's going on in the world dining out at MK is a real pleasure because there's no one there to be quite honest now don't forget like I said before if you drink the iced tea you will get more iced tea they come round and refill keeping control of your pot either boil or simmer it's so easy to cook and enjoy at your own table now this like I said is uniquely Thai but it is taken from the Chinese steamboat dish it is very very popular throughout Thailand and like we said at the start of the video you know MK has been established for 30 years so they've been around for quite some time and now they have 20 restaurants outside of Thailand so MK is starting to expand worldwide now this is prawn toast but it's a different variation to a Chinese prawn toast but there's an awful lot of prawn inside there just dip it in your nice sweet sauce it's absolutely delicious now guys if you manage to get to Thailand or to an MK restaurant that's out worldwide I hope you enjoy the sukiyaki as much as I do there's one thing when you finished you are normally full and as the saying goes full as a butcher's dog now with MK they also have desserts but normally I've eaten that much during my meal time that I have no room to fit in a dessert Now if you don't have the complimentary tea you can always order a different ice drink but you know I find the tea more than adequate but you know that's down to pre preferential taste and they also do a spicy hot pot so you can actually have spicy if you want now I tend to stick to the normal hot pot it's absolutely de delicious it's full of vegetables you put your meat in it's all boiled not fried it's a healthy alternative to eat it's amazing now guys if you like what we're doing don't forget like and subscribe so you don't miss anything and share with your friends as you can see there's not many in MK. 